Today I'd like to talk about spinster women and the male sex drive. Just my thoughts. So, a lot of men right now, part of it is in response to women's behavior and part of it's not. But a lot of 20-something men figured out by the time they're 30 that society really doesn't value 20-something men. And on the flip side, society overvalues 20-something women. Now that kind of flips when they turn 30, where the men start to be more valued and the women undervalued or become average. And what's the implications there? Well, a couple of things is the men suddenly are in a bit more demand. And suddenly when they ask a girl out or even get approached, they're mildly surprised thinking that perhaps it's just they got better game but ultimately they're more of a in demand particularly if they have status income and and quite frankly take care of themselves a bit which if you work too hard in your 20s and forget the self-care part doesn't happen and that's important because if you want to be attractive to the opposite sex you really have to take care of yourself and the irony is the women who are that age, who haven't been snapped up or at least approached for marriage a few times, are a declining asset. And yeah, we've all seen the videos and the TV shows where they, this delusional 35-year-old woman thinks she should get some 35-year-old billionaire. I think there's no doubt that Fifty Shades of Grey was the fastest selling book ever which was quite shocking until you realize that perhaps women in some regards perhaps even in just in their fantasy world really want to see a strong dominant type in their lives although I was pretty I'd be quite shocked if the money aspect of that the fact that he was a billionaire isn't a big part of it but anyway so this I, what I see is <clears throat> Women who <clears throat> say certain things, maybe society, maybe their parents, etc., decide to wait until they're 30, until they're established in their career, and then they turn 30. And as Jordan Peterson said, a lot of people don't realize is only a few percent of the population have a career. The rest of us have jobs because we wouldn't do it without getting paid. I thought was a really interesting insight and true in my world. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I really liked what I was doing when I was in the banking aspect, banking world, for like the first year, and then it was the paycheck. And I held on for close to 20 years, and near the end I was half delusional with boredom and disgust at my coworkers. Who ironically enough, weren't particularly bad people without two exceptions, but I digress. And so what you have is, and the male sex drive part of this is, suddenly when men reach 30, they can suddenly start thinking a little clearer, the testosterone's dropping, etc. So there's been a strategy for women, is grab, when you're like 24, 25 at your peak, and a little less drama, because I think at 25 there should be less drama, for crying out loud, is uh, grab some 30-year-old guy who doesn't quite realize his rising sexual market value. This is kind of historically where society was in the past, where men with resources were sought after, and men without, unless you're a 20-something, weren't sought out. And that goes back to men under their, in their 20s, society values very poorly. We send them off to war, etc. And women in their 20s, society values very highly. And then it switches. I know there's a certain, a certain amount of shodan for us, for those guys out there who didn't figure this out in their 20s. And then they see women in their 30s suddenly panicking about marriage. And this is where the spinster part comes in too. So you have a woman who's in her 30s who goes, especially she's like 35, and how unfair of her. 
She basically wants to meet a guy and start having kids now. And maybe he's not ready. So he's going to get finagled into that. She better be some exceptional person because, quite frankly, physically, she's not there. And hopefully she's developed herself. I know we're supposed to view women on their uh, accomplishments, etc. But <laughs> as a guy, it's amazing how bland and how women at that age don't even try. You're leading the conversation. And this is in family gatherings where I'm known I'm married. And quite frankly, I'm just being polite Go around friends. And I actually have dinner parties with people, single women. And if I never met them again in my entire life, I wouldn't care because it was a forced conversation with myself making all the effort for two hours. With frankly people with no personality, no interests. And you know what? Not really even caring what the other people in the room do for a living. So maybe I should have called this uh, video Spinster Women, Male Sex Drive, and Schodenfrost. Schodenfrost? Because, unfortunately, I think the world has it. I've had women I've seen, not too much in my personal life, I've been pretty lucky about not meeting women, women who are at those extremes. Who knows what they talk about when guys aren't around, but they seem to have pretty level-headed. But they uh, just don't get it. They should, be, they should be doing their best to attract some guy five, six years older really settled career-wise, job-wise, and then you have something to offer still. Rather than this one year, I want to get married now. If a guy meets a 25-year-old woman, he's going to be able to say, oh, she'll probably want kids in a few years. If a guy meets a 35-year-old woman, she's going to want kids now. There's no fairness in that. And I'll be quite frank, I don't think the guys should because they don't have to. 35 year old woman probably should be hitting 50 because that's where her demand curve is. And I know what a 50 year old guy is about. His body, etc. Energy level. But you know, that's quite frankly, biologically all you deserve. Later.